Amazon Prime has been trying their hand at comedies lately and failing miserably. The newest addition to this treasure trove of trash is Brothers, starring Josh Brolin and Peter Dinklage. Some great comedians for this film. I have so much to say about this movie and yet almost nothing at the same time. It's remarkable. But before I begin, if you enjoy the commentary, the reviews and whatnot, I post them all the time. Feel free to subscribe, like the video and hit the notification bell. And hopefully you'll find me in the feed once in a while. Okay, I don't ever want to find brothers again. I don't know whose idea it was to put Brolin and Dinklage in a comedy together, but these guys have zero chemistry and have zero comedic timing. I mean, Brolin has been kind of funny before, but then again, it's because he's playing the straight man like as Cable in Deadpool 2, or he's a giant California raisin in some of the Avengers films. But here, he's supposed to genuinely be funny and dropping the ball at every turn. And Peter Dinklage is no better here. Years ago, I thought he was fantastic, especially in Game of Thrones. But lately, everything I see him in feels like he's sleepwalking through it. Now, I will give Peter Dinklage props. The dude got jacked for this movie. He looks good. Can't say the same about Josh Brolin. Since Deadpool 2, this guy has aged 35 years. I don't know what the hell happened, but man, he's looking rough. And to really drive that point home, the film decides to pair him with a woman who's half of his age. In the film, when he's with her, it looks like his daughter, which is kind of an old school Hollywood thing. You pair a 20 something, 30 something year old with a 40, 50, 60 year old. And this movie is trying to have that 90s stank to it, but it's coming off like shit. It's not funny. It looks atrocious. This is one of the ugliest movies I've seen in many years. The color grading is terrible. There are shots where two people are in the room and one has a window blaring light at him. And then you go to the dark shot next and then back to the bright shot. It's just miserable to look at. And I have no idea what the fuck they're doing with this picture. It's supposed to be modern. They have smartphones, yet they put this gross like Crisco Vaseline thing on top of everything. So it looks washed out and dead inside, much like the performances. The script is a garbage fire. Nothing's funny, nothing lands. Let's get to the premise. You have these two brothers, Mook and J.D. Monger. They grew up in a very rough and tumble environment with two dirtball parents who are stealing constantly and fleeing from the law. And so naturally these brothers follow suit. They're good at blowing shit up and stealing, doing little odd jobs here and there. One of which is gonna send Peter Dinklage right to the big house for five years. Mook, meanwhile, is gonna settle down. He's gonna get a job at a local fast food chain. He's gonna meet a nice woman and they're gonna have a kid together. But after a series of unfortunate events, he's gonna fall back with his brother who's out of jail now and they have to do one more gig. One final payday so that they can settle down. Uh, Glenn Close is in this. I remember when she used to be a good actress in good films. That was, that was long ago now. I don't know who she owes money to or what's happening, but man, now, if I see that Glenn Close is starring in something, I should just run the other way. Brendan Fraser is also in this, and more than I thought, terrible, awful character. Oh, so he plays a mean, crooked cop who's after JD. There's the funny way to do this, which would be like a Shooter McGavin, or a Mugatu, or a Dr. Evil. And then there's this way of doing it, which is just be an asshole. Come off very intimidating, very straight man for most of the movie until the final act when you turn into a complete and total character. The direction of this is so bad. So I can't even fault Brendan Fraser, who's a good actor. It's just he's getting nothing to work with and the performance that's coming out of him is terrible. But that's across the board. Marissa Tomei's in this for a quick payday. She has a CGI orangutan that Brolin's gonna have to give a hand job to. You heard me correctly. That could be funny, I suppose, somehow, but it's not. It's not. Any sequence that has the potential for humor is completely squandered. Here's an, here's an example for you. So at one point they need to dig up the corpse of their father who's buried under a golf course now because it's been 30 years or whatever. So they steal a digger and they start ripping up the green. 
but they only put two holes in the thing before they find the dad. In my mind, it would be much funnier if they dug up the entire green and they're getting pissed off and it's hours later, maybe it's nighttime, and then the mom realizes that they're on the wrong hole. To me, that would take a kooky premise and expand it to something funny. But no, they never go anywhere with any of their jokes. There's no payoff. There's barely even a setup most of the time. In that very same scene, we have a golf cart chase sequence where we have the golf cart pros pissed off that they're not using the cart path. So there's this dumb little shittily shot scene where they're going through the golf courses and they're throwing balls at each other. And it's so bad. It's shot so horribly. And we don't know these golfers at all. There's no setup. It's just chasing and they're done. It could have been far funnier if we spent a couple minutes getting to know them before this scene played out. Maybe we learn that they're these uptight bros that just can't handle anything happening to their precious golf course. So when they see these people desecrating it, they lose their minds. They snap. Perhaps these guys were even introduced earlier in the movie and therefore we have some build of the character, some foreshadow to a fight that will take place later. This movie does none of that. There's no setup, there's no payoff. It's just scene after scene of really boring garbage. Jeff Daniels proved you don't have to have any comedy background to be funny as hell. He pulled that off in Dumb and Dumber. Other people have done that as well. These guys don't do it. They do the opposite. Because they're probably so familiar with more dramatic roles, they don't know how to hit the marks. And so scenes where they're talking in the car play out very slowly. Like for instance, Josh Brolin might say something to Dinklage. Dinklage, instead of like answering back right away with a snappy retort, he'll let it sit for a second. Like there's supposed to be some drama behind it, but there's supposed to be humor. I kid you not, this movie is terrible from front to back. I refuse to believe anyone actually enjoyed it. I don't want to see a comment that says, are you kidding me, Adam? This movie was hilarious. If you're going to put that, how dare you, first of all. Go watch some real comedies. Go watch a Happy Gilmore. Go watch a Naked Gun. Go watch a Blazing Saddles. Watch an Austin Powers or an Ace Ventura Pet Detective or something where actual thought was put into the dialogue, where they have skits that take place, where they have comedic moments throughout. Movies where you're laughing so hard, you miss three jokes. And you want to go back and watch it again because it's so damn funny. I want a Caddyshack. I want a damn Tommy Boy. I want an Uncle Buck. This movie doesn't give a single Uncle Fuck. If you're thinking of yourself, hey, I'm just looking for some crass humor and some edgy stuff. That's not this. This is like the lowest of the low. It's not American Pie. It didn't push any envelopes. It's not Animal House. It's this kind of putrid thing that's shat out on Amazon Prime. The actors pretend it's some funny, edgy movie, and you forget about it in a day. What a waste of time. It's only an hour and 27 minutes. It feels so much longer. It's a chore to get through. It's a bore to sit through. And I just rattled off a bunch of better movies. So if you haven't seen any of those, definitely watch them over this crap. All right, let me know your thoughts on Brothers, though. Not to be confused with the other movie, Brothers, that's a drama starring Jake Gyllenhaal and Tobey Maguire, or Step Brothers, both of which are better films. I think the Natalie Portman Brothers might be more funny than this one, and that's a drama. Let me know, though. Leave a comment. Please, again, think of subscribing to the channel. I post movie reviews every single week. I don't shy away from giving my honest opinion, for better or for worse, and I'd love to hear from you. If you love what I'm doing and you appreciate the commentary, think about supporting the channel by becoming a patron at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. There's different tiers. There's 300 exclusive videos and counting, plus access to an exclusive show over there called The Cringe that I do every month. All that said, hopefully I see you next time. Take care.